above all else, I think it's pretty safe to say that getting leaner is gonna be your best bet when it comes to overall body and facial aesthetic. You want your face to look more chiseled, your jawline to be more prominent, get lean. You wanna look more stronger, you wanna get those veins to pop, you gotta get lean. Growing up, uh, one of my best friends, Nate, he kinda always carried around a little extra weight. And recently, he's been getting lean. And as you can see here, look at how much more fierce and masculine he looks. And the best way to do this is to consume less calories than you burn every single day. And you can do that by dieting um, or lots of cardio. Me personally, I like a little blend of both. I've actually been on a little cut myself these last few weeks. And um, you guys are gonna see me definitely start to get more chiseled and more leaned out in the face area uh, as well as everywhere else here in the coming months as we head into summer but hey, look if you guys are afraid that you're gonna lose size i mean so what actually at the end of the day you might even look bigger and more stronger perfect example of this is cristiano ronaldo i mean a lot of you guys watching are bigger than he is you guys have more muscles than he does it's just he's got that lean aesthetic that puts him in a whole nother league next up all right now if women do makeup what do men do we boost our testosterone, right? You want your girl to look at you like a king? You want her to be mesmerized by you? you gotta boost that T. And there's many ways to boost testosterone. It does start with your diet, sleeping habits, your workouts, how hard you're pushing yourself, getting that vitamin D, not staying indoors and spending all this time flipping through Instagram. There's many ways to so do whatever you can, even hanging out with other men. And for some of you at home actually, um, it could be a deficiency in your body as well. This is very much a possibility. This is what actually happened to me. I mean, you guys know me. You guys know I'm a very active dude. I always have been. Uh, I eat very well. I'm pretty strict on my diet. And no matter what I did, I was always still low in testosterone. Once I got prescribed by a doctor, it gave me that boost in testosterone. And there's a difference. When you look at me now versus me in previous videos, you can see it. Number three, cleanliness. Ooh, how underestimated this one is you know it doesn't matter how tall you are how good looking you are or how smart you are in every area of your life cleanliness is crucial so be conscious of this everything from your bathroom especially if you invite a girl over you don't want her going to the bathroom and seeing freaking piss dribbles and caca stains in your toilet come on bro also your kitchen your bedroom hey your body the clothes that you wear even if you think to yourself oh you know I, I didn't really do much today oh you know I only sweated just a little bit Nah, man, take that shower. Do a quick little spray of cologne after, it's worth it. A woman will appreciate not only a clean you, but a clean environment that's worthy of her presence. Speaking of cleanliness and smelling good, got a big offer for you guys today. 55% off of your first month at scentbird.com. For those of you that don't know, Scentbird is a subscription service that allows you to choose a new designer fragrance every single month. There's over 600 different brands that you can choose from for just 15 bucks a month. But again, you can get that first month for 55% off. That's only seven bucks by using the promo code that I have for you down below. You can even receive two to three fragrances per month if you wish. You can skip months if you need to. So check out their site. Take that quick quiz to see what scents best fit your lifestyle. My favorites at the moment are Mercedes-Benz Man, Osmanthus by Aqua de Parma, and Get a Room by Confessions of a Rebel. This is actually the one that I get the most compliments on. And honestly, in my opinion, you can't really go wrong with any scent that you choose from them. Uh, I myself have received probably over 60 different scents from them over the last handful of years and I've never been disappointed with any of them. Next up, having enthusiasm. Having enthusiasm for your relationships, for life, um, your work, side hustles, this keeps you from monotony. And I feel like this is the missing ingredient in the lives of a lot of us men. It's that, you know, that, that power, that might, uh, it all stems from gratitude, joy. Even in the midst of chaos, you gotta treat the present moment as a gift. Look, pain should never go wasted. In fact, if you look at it the right way, if you got the right perspective on it, pain can be a gift. Hey look, women are amazing, right? They're the most precious gift on this planet. We know this. Um, but we also know that women are the weaker vessel. Says so in the Bible a little more emotional. So we as men, we gotta be that tree planted, right? We gotta be able to hold our composure when times get tough. Women, they uh, 
they look to us to lead. We're the captain. And what would happen if the captain lost his composure? What, what, what would happen if the captain started to always freak out anytime there was a storm? The rest of the crew would freak out too, right? Because they look to the captain. But if the captain shows hope, if he shows enthusiasm, if he's got a plan, okay, then the crew can look at him and be like, okay, you know, let, let, we, we can get through this. Everything's gonna be okay. So let's start to show that enthusiasm a little more. And this doesn't need to be a hyped up hyper energy. No, it's a subtle joy that you have inside that makes you calm. But it also gives you that brightness, right? And, um, Hey, look, I've been going on five, six, seven miles a day right now. Um, been just running a lot. And some days, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm exhausted. So you know what I do? I start, uh, I start praising Jesus. I start thanking God for my legs. I start thanking him for the breath in my lungs. I start thanking him that I can even run, period. Because one day, one day I might not be able to run. Who knows? Running, pushing yourself, getting to that point of exhaustion, that's a privilege. And when you start looking at every area of your life as a privilege, <clears throat> that gratitude, that joy, that enthusiasm, that's gonna become infectious to everyone around you, especially women. Now, a great tip for having more luscious, more luscious head of hair, I hate using that word, but you guys know what I mean. A great way to counterattack dried out frizzy hair, which is not a good look, is to, of course, limit your shampoo and conditioning to maybe two to three days a week tops. We know this. But if you're a pretty uh, active guy like me, you sweat a lot, I don't wanna go even a day without having a nice clean head of hair. Having a clean head is important, especially if you got like head acne. I got a couple little spots I gotta be careful of, so I gotta keep this mug clean. However, I also don't want dry hair and split ends from all the shampooing every day. So I say wash your hair every day using a gentle oil cleanser. What this will do is gently wash your hair, removing all the excess dirt and excess oil, leaving your natural oils intact at all times. This way, your hair never gets stripped of its necessary nutrients that keep it hydrated and keep it soft. So if you guys wanna try something like this, right here's the Activating Oil Cleanser by Shavu. I'll link it down below along with a 10% off discount code. Don't do good, be good. Now there's a huge difference when it comes to doing good and being good. And there's that thin line that you gotta be very careful of crossing over. One can make you very attractive as a man and the other can make you kind of kind of gross in a way in, in, in which you hold yourself. Sometimes when you do good things and you do good deeds and acts, it can bring a sense of arrogance and pride. Kind of like me at the gym, I caught myself the other day. Uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine and he was kind of telling me about some fitness milestones that he hit and I had to one up him. I said something like, oh, well, you know, Today, I, I woke up at five, I ran six miles, I'm on this strenuous diet, and now I'm here at the gym. <laughs> and you know, it just, it didn't come from the right place. It came off like, look at me, look what I'm doing. And you know, this can happen in any area of your life, whether you're on a no fat challenge. Oh, I, I've done uh, uh, three months of no fat. Oh, well, you know what? I've done six months. Oh, uh, uh, last month I, gave $100 to charity. Oh, well, you know, I usually give 10% of my income every single month, so no biggie. So what I'm trying to say here is, instead of just doing good for the sake of doing good, for the sake of saying that you did good, actually become good. Actually becoming a good man comes from a heart place, rather than a outwardly look at me pedestal kind of place. There's a Bible verse that says something like, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, don't announce it. It says, don't announce it with trumpets. Do not let the left hand know what the right hand is doing so that you're giving, so that you're doing may be done in secret. See, God blesses those who do good in secret. And you know, when a man is truly just a good solid man, he doesn't need the acceptance from others for it. He doesn't need the applause. There's actually a beautiful quote in my favorite movie, Walter Mitty. He says, uh, beautiful things don't ask for attention. And now the last thing I wanna discuss here to finish off this video is keeping your word. Your word is your bond 
my brothers. It's a quality that's quickly vanishing as the years go on. And you know, back in medieval days, actually, men would hold their word to the highest degree, the highest standard. If a man said, you have my word, what he really meant was, you have my life. And these days, men just throw around their word very loosely. It holds no weight. I mean, how many of you guys have gotten a text from your friend last second? And he says, oh, sorry, bro, can't make it. Or better yet, how many times have you yourself have been that dude who bails out the very last second? I know I have, just being real, just being real with you guys. There's been many a times where I've made stupid excuses of why I'm breaking my promise. And check this out, you know what ancient warriors used to do when they wanted to take over a city? They would get there and they would burn their boats just to ensure that there is no way out. It was either go in there and take the city or die trying. And I feel like as men, we gotta get back to that same mindset with our promises. I honestly feel like that's the same approach we should take when we give our word. We either do it or we die trying. And the more times you continue to break your promises, the more people lose respect for you. And when your girl, when she loses respect for you, she's mentally checked out. And you've lost all your sex appeal. She doesn't, she no longer looks at you as a king. And in her eyes, you're just a complete weasel. You're a weasel in the eyes of her, of your family, of your kids, and eventually your self-esteem takes a massive hit. So hey, look, if you say you're gonna do something, just do it. If you say, if you keep saying that you're gonna wake up at 5.30 every morning, but you're still waking up at nine, you're still waking up at 10. If you say you're gonna lose that 15, 20 pounds, but you're still year after year, you still keep looking the same. If you keep saying that you're gonna be in your word and you're gonna start going to church and reading your Bible, yet you're still sleeping in, you wake up every morning, you hop on your phone, flipping through TikToks and Instagrams. What do you want me to tell you, bro? You suck. <laughs> hey, look, I've actually had to tell myself this a few times. I've had to look at the man in the mirror a few times, actually, in recent years, and just be like, bro, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, my guy? Time to step it up. So, look. Stop lying, guys. We need to stop lying. You're either gonna do something or you're not, but at least be honest about it. If you can't do something, then say you can't. It's okay. If you know, if you know deep down that you're not gonna lose that last 15 pounds, if you know deep down you're not gonna be waking up early, then say that. Or at least don't say nothing at all. Don't go squawking around telling everybody what you're gonna do, what's, what's about to come but you just do nothing about it. You do that and you look like a fool to everyone around you. Ain't nobody gonna follow you. Ain't no woman gonna take your lead. So my brothers, with that said, no more lying. I'm even talking to myself here. No more lying. Commit, always commit and keep your word. So, hey, I hope this message spoke to you. Hope this video, uh, hope it uh, riled up a little something, something inside you got that fire lit under your butt um, but hey thanks for tuning in thumbs up if you dug today's video and um, I'll see you soon peace always